In this video, I'm going to talk about warp connectors, uh, specifically PH 2.0. Uh, I'm going to compare a standard one with a newbie drone nectar connector with a solid pin generic uh, PH 2.0 connector with the Beta FPV or Beta FPV, however you pronounce it, uh, BT 2.0 connector, which is supposed to change the world or the biggest revolution to tiny whoops, as they say on their website. Uh, I'm doing this because I've recently bought a UR65, uh, which is a 1S brushless warp, and I've been pretty impressed with it, um, particularly for what it's worth, uh, but it last about two two and a half minutes and i thought right before i start mucking around with filters and so forth surely i can put in a solid pin and, and get some more juice and that led to this so how did i test these i took the ur65 the stock standard uh connector on it as it was uh and i took three batteries i labeled them one two three and i used those exact same three batteries for every experiment that i did so that way i'm comparing apples with apples and and i've got a bit of a spread in terms of um uh, batteries uh, i flew and hovered for uh, each of those on the standard connector. And the second I hit to th the 3.2, um, I took note of the time. In fact, I recorded it and watched it later. Now you could probably gain some accuracy with further flights. Maybe I should have flown them three times each. Um, and there's always going to be a bit of variance because of hovering manually or hovering is, is not perfect and not a perfect comparison. But ultimately, I just wanted to measure if I could get some, some longer flight times with better connectors. Uh, so once I did the standard one, I plugged in or soldered in, I should say, the um, Nubidrone Nectar Connector. Now this doesn't actually claim better performance in their defense. On their website, it's all about plugging it in the wrong way. Um, so I didn't even know that was a thing, but apparently it is. Um, and a, a reference to aesthetics as well. And it does look cool, it's clear, looks a bit bit better than um, a normal one, looks nice on um, the b ray lights. Which begs the question, why would you produce such a quality quad in the b ray lights and, and all that you do, um, and put a crimpled or non-solid pin connector in there? Anyway, uh, so I flew those. Uh, then I switched in or soldered in some solid pin connectors from Amazon, same three batteries, same deal. And then finally, I took the, um, soldered in the, the BT 2.0 connector into the quad uh, and use those same three batteries and solder in the connector to those three. Quick couple of points before I jump into the results. Firstly, what's the difference between a solid pin and a crinkle or non-solid pin? Um, this is what the newbie drone connector looks like, the nectar connector looks like under a microscope. So you can see it's kind of metal folded in. Uh, and this is what the Amazon generic solid pin pH 2.0 connector looks like under a microscope and you can see it's a solid pin and logically you would think that gives more electricity. Keep it simple. Um, the uh, beta FPV BT 2.0 uh, as opposed to newbie drone do claim much better performance um, and they're claiming that there's a lot more current that can be uh, pushed through their pins um, because of the way they've engineered them and, and the material they use. Uh, and therefore you're going to have much better performance, uh, not just endurance, but also performance. So you're going to get a lot less battery sag. So uh, that's worth noting as well. Test I'm about to show you and the results I'm about to show you are really a hover test for longevity of battery. And here they are. Okay, so the standard connector comes in at 150 seconds right through to about 236 seconds. I deliberately used a bit of an older battery or a dodgy battery uh, in B1 uh, just to see how that performs differently. Next up is the Newbie Drone Nectar Connector, uh, which again doesn't claim to outperform normal connectors, it's more about plugging it properly. Uh, and that came in pretty much exactly the same with an average of 216. Um, some variances there where one battery performed better on one and, and the other and so forth. But, you know, I'll put that down to, to hovering inconsistency or something like that. But overall, came in the same. Next is the Solid Pin Connector from Amazon. Uh, it did uh, demonstrate an improvement. So we had an average time of an additional 11 seconds in this case here. Um, you'll note that the first battery finally got over that two minute mark and we're hitting about 245 with, with the, the better performing battery in B2. Um, so a bit of an upgrade. I was probably expecting a bit better results, um, but that's it. And lastly, the BT 2.0 and wow, really impressed. I mean, we're, we're gaining a uh, just over 30 seconds more above and beyond the solid pin, which was already about 10 seconds above uh, the standard pins. So the hype 
is real and I hate saying that but um, it really is so you know that first battery I was struggling to get to two minutes with that first battery on the other connectors and I'm, I'm nearly at three minutes with BT 2.0 so well done so that's it the, the BT 2.0 by beta or beta FPV um, actually does make a significant difference uh, it's 30 seconds over two or two and a half minutes that's that's pretty significant I'm very surprised by that. Um, I expected a bit better from the solid pin connector, but there was, you know, a noticeable difference. Um, I'm legitimately going to get some some batteries and and use that UR65 on um on B2, BT 2.0. There's too many acronyms and, and stuff in this hobby. Um, yeah, that's that's great. I might experiment some more with that. So that's it. I'm done. You have a good day.